Hey guys, it's me, Mr. 250, and welcome back to L.A. Noir. We're here with, uh, I've learned his name is Phelps, so I can... You're wasting time. Yep, I know, chill, here. chill. Um, I guess we should follow him. They really pushed you Mr. through 250. quick, didn't they? Let's play L.A. Noir. I was on patrol before I got this desk. You were here in five minutes. What do you want me to say? I didn't ask for any favors. I'm telling you, it'll never stick, and you'll get roasted. Okay. Guess he doesn't like our quick rise to fame. I mean, maybe maybe that's his his thing. He's like, I don't like it when people get by too easy. The women don't find you. Those old-fashioned so type, of, type of people. Oh, sorry, that was a door. Shouldn't you know run this into place? that. Sure, near the old gas works and signal depot in the warehouse district. I'll direct. Oh yeah, little little information. I uh, hope he doesn't talk to us. Okay, good. Little information. Um, first off. The reason that my frames are so bad, I've looked it up online, it's a common problem that uh, Rockstar, the makers of this game, just made a poor port to uh, from consoles, so I apologize about that. There's not really anything I can do about that. Even lowering settings won't help it much, because it's locked at a low frame rate regardless, and it doesn't operate well, so if it sort of hits lag spikes, I'm really sorry, but there's not much I can do about that. But we can still have some fun. Get out of the way! Investigation! So, tell me a little about Ooh, I want to dispatch call. Are we friends now? Because how do we? How do we dispatch? We have to work together. Don't be so touchy. Oh, okay. It's on my map. Sure. I gotta. I gotta go take this dispatch call. Shipped out in early '45 as the first lieutenant. So you won the Silver Star. I don't want to talk about it. Now let me get this straight. You single-handedly killed 40 Japs on this hill of the mountain. Oh, oh, sorry. You were up there all night. Straight to the flag. Knife between your teeth. Gun at the ready. Finished? <laughs> The Emperor Hirohito himself leading the charge against you. I did my part, Bukowski. What did you do? I kept the streets of L.A. safe for the people. Yeah. Now I get it. Unfit for service. Oh, fuck you, Phelps. Oh, wow. I earned a bravery citation during the Zuda riot. Sounds like you had it rough. I did my job. No one is saying you didn't. I did six years as a patrolman. That's the third time you told I'm guessing they're not going to be good partners. Just saying. Okay, how do I? How do I? How do I do? How does I do? I think this is like a side mission. Up on the roof, officer. He has a mask on his face. I Can I shoot it off him? Past me, but be careful. I saw him waving a gun. Can I shoot the mask off him? <laughs> it looks like an old school bandit. Wow. I don't want to subdue him. Can I shoot him? Give it up now. Make it easy on yourself. Get the hell away from me. Where would he go? Crap. I lost him. Go go down. Oh, he's over there. Okay. Dang it, he's getting away. Go go guy. We got a suspect to chase after. I don't think it'll let me shoot him, but I'm going to try it anyway just for the walls. Where would he go? Says he's this way. Stay back, peoples. There's danger going on. Ah, oh, dang it. This is all your fault, random guy. Random chick. Alright, well, let's try that again, shall we? I think that might be a good idea. Really? Oh, just return to their location. Oh, it's not too far away. It's not as bad as I thought it would be. Jesus, <laughs> Sorry, guys. Up on the can I can officer, I skip your he has a mask your words? On his face. No, I can't. Okay. I caught sight when he shoved past me, but be careful. I saw him waving a gun. I don't want to do this again, so I'm just gonna try to subdue him like you're supposed to. These are pretty wimpy police officers, though. I mean, if you're getting shot at, shoot back. All right. Give it up now. Make it easy on yourself. Let's go get him. Get the hell away from me. 
Yeah, you're a lot closer now. Yeah, why is he not shooting me anymore either? That doesn't even make sense. He's shooting people, but now we've suddenly made a pact that he doesn't want to shoot people anymore. Non-shooting pact. Oh, you have to shoot him. Okay, cool. We can shoot him. Nice. Excellent. I'm glad we get to shoot them. Okay, I'm glad. I'm happy now. I thought we weren't allowed to shoot anybody. Watch out, everyone! Yeah, excellent. Excellent indeed. Okay, do we do we get like random monies or do we get cool stuffs? Played a single Okay, cool, I got achieves. We got achievements. And I got experience. Ooh, I got five hidden vehicles apparently. Let's get back to our original mission. Okay, how do I turn on Siren? There we go. This isn't bad music to be chasing after criminals in either. Ooh, what's that? Like a giant super dome thingy. And all the cars are gone too. Guess I scared them away with my Siren, they know how I drive. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, guys. That you I had to cut my me? audio. It's got a coughing fit. That was great. Parking lot straight ahead. Oh, that was great. I need to get back to work, officer. The detectives are here now. You repeat to them what you told me. I did the right thing by calling this in. I'm just a working stick. Just give them your story, and you'll be all right. This is your first case, Phelps. It's okay to admit it if you're stumped. If you don't know what to do next, just come talk to me and we'll see what we can figure out. Thanks, Stefan. You're okay. All right, so we got another investigation, it looks like, here. Okay, you could follow me just like a step behind me. That would be great. You're kind of freaking me out a little bit, guy. Give me some room. Thank you. Hey there. How's it going? I'm Officer Hart. Phelps, traffic. What have you got? Abandoned car, probably stolen. The solid citizen is Nate Wilkie. He called it in. What gives with the corner? There's blood all over the interior. Someone's copped the full Broderick, but no stiff as yet. We have an owner for the car? The car is registered to an Adrian Black, just north of Bunker Hill. All right, we'll take a look around. I'll keep Mr. Wilkie talking, but don't make him wait too long. He's the restless type. Okay, let's go talk to him, because I don't... Oh, you can use intuition to search for clues? <laughs> get yourself two suits and get them pressed? Okay, um... Uh, let's not use intuition yet. I'd like to see if we can solve this stock. Let's talk to this guy, because he seems pretty antsy. How long you go Sir, I'm Detective Phelps. Name's Nate Wilkie. You found the vehicle? Sure. Saw it just sitting there. Strange place to be parking your car. Figured I'd better take a look. And then I saw all the blood. So I called the police. Alright, so... Yeah, purpose of purpose of the scene. We don't know anything about him. Mind if I ask what you were doing out here? Well, I work for the railway. I was on my way out to the switch and reckon I'd take a shortcut. That sounds truthful. I mean, you taking a shortcut sounds just fine. Did you see anybody else in the yard? Maybe somebody hanging around the car? Nope. I hadn't seen a soul all day till you boys turned up. Alright. I think we did that right. It sounded right. And knowledge of Adrian Black. Hey there, buddy. I don't know. His face looked funny. Do you know Adrian Black, Mr. Wilkie? No, sir. That ain't a name I'm familiar with. I don't think he's lying, but let's just use an intuition point just for the heck of it. Yeah, he's either lying or telling the truth, and I really don't think he's lying. You ever seen the car before? Funny enough, I did. A couple of nights ago, it was over there in the parking lot. I know most of the cars are parked here regularly, so it kind of stood out. 
Okay, cool. Thanks for the info. Your patience, Mr. Wilkie. If you don't mind waiting a little longer, I'm sure we'll have more questions once we've had a look around. All right, cool. Um, let's see. Let's talk to this guy. Maybe he has some. I think he's the coroner. Like the doctor or something. Phelps. What have we got? A lot of blood for a blood force injury. The victim must be in a very bad way. Any sign of the guy? Not unless he's in the trunk of the car. Well, have we not decided to open the trunk yet? Can we open it? Okay. No, but we do have a tire iron here. I wonder if this is of any use. Any blood on it? Oh, there's no blood. Oh, clicked out the window. Sorry about that. There's a card here. What's this card? Riverside Slaughterhouse. Mr. F. Morgan picked up a live pig yesterday? Interesting. Okay, so an F. Morgan picked up a live pig yesterday. Okay. I have this faint suspicion that it might connect to what's in this car, possibly. Oh, man. Victim looks to have lost a lot of blood. Yeah, that's for certain. Yeah, definitely. Okay, um... Oh, they got little nice cards out here for me so I can see evidence easier. Uh, let's investigate this, uh... Billfold, I think? Wallet? Yeah. What do we got here? Adrian Black. 32 years old. Married. Sounds like an average guy. What was he doing out here? Interesting. Okay. Then we got a photo here. Happier times, I guess. Not sure if that's of much use to us. But, uh... We'll put it back. And let's take a look at these glasses. Maybe... I guess this isn't the age of looking at fingerprints, but... Oh, we got a name. Stenzel Glasses. Home repaired by the look of it. Interesting. Oh, because of that little bit of tape in the middle. And I clicked out again. Okay. So that might be an interesting bit of information. Uh, let me look at my clues really quick to see what we got to work with. Whoops. Here we go. Okay, so we've got an abandoned vehicle that's got blood everywhere. We've got blood splashes, obviously. Large splashes, a lot of blood. A recipe for a live hog, which I found th I find this very interesting. Because why would you pick up a live hog? Especially if you just got a normal car like this. And a wallet belonging to the person that we suspect would be the victim. And these glasses, which look like they've been repaired in a home manner. Let's see if we can find any more of these cards around. Okay, so we got this one. I saw there was one right next to the vehicle as well. Can I climb up this? No, I can't. Okay. What are these? Cigarettes? Not much help. Yeah, I doubt it. In an age where we're not looking for fingerprints so much might not be useful to me. Let's see. Got some rubbish over here. I think there's just some stuff on the ground, not important. Hey, Flatfoot, you're looking to get rid of that old crate? I'll give you a nickel for it. <laughs> oh, you're not helpful. Go away. Clear this area immediately. Now, what have we got here? What is this? A pipe? Oh, it's a bloody pipe. Interesting. Let's see, what's that name? Instaheat. Brand name might give us something to go on. All right. So, that looks like it might be a murder weapon. Possibly. I think it's about as far out as anything important will be. Um... Let's see, okay, we already looked in here. We looked in the trunk. If there was a dead pig somewhere, that would be real useful to find out. Okay, let's go talk to the guy again, see if he's got anything else for us. Uh, content of wallet. The wallet by the car. Was there anything in it when you arrived? You accusing me of something, mister? No! I'm just asking a question. Hmm. Let's see. I don't think he's lying, but let's... He sounds pretty sure of himself. Maybe a recipe for a live hog. 
No, wait, no, that wouldn't have been in there. Um, crap, I flicked out again. I'm gonna doubt what he's saying. I'm kinda nervous about this. Do you want the patrolman to hold you down while we turn out your pockets, Mr. Wilkie? Maybe I checked inside that wallet. Not that I was gonna steal anything. Maybe I took a look. But there weren't no money in there. Not even change. Wow. Okay. I'm doing real good, apparently, compared to last time. Because I did real bad last time. And bloodstained pipe we, we found. found a steel pipe with blood on it near the car. Do you know anything about it, Mr. Wilkie? No, sir. I went straight for the law when I saw the car was full of blood. I think he's telling the truth. When you saw the blood, was it wet, bright red, or uh, darker like it is now? Darker, I'd say. Looked dry already. Okay. Thank you for your help. I got him all right, yes! We'll contact your employer if we need anything more from you. I'm not actually terrible if at this. you have to, I guess. I can't really spend no more time over this. Somebody's got to inform the wife, Phelps. If you're done here, we'll head over there now. All right. You got anything important to say? We're going to notify the wife. You seem to have it under control here. Yeah, I got this. Good, good. You got this, bro. You got this. You got all over this. Okay, let's go back. They have this nice, slow sprint. Oh, and apparently, if we hold E, we can have our partner drive. However, as you can see, I am having a great deal of fun driving. So, uh... I'm gonna be doing the driving. ATI Radio is a member of 620 Bunker Hill Avenue. You know where that is? Behind Bunker Hill. <laughs> a couple blocks north of Central Street. So, what do we tell the wife? Play it by the book. No stiff yet, so let's see how it plays out. Oh, sweet, I got some Rockstar accomplishment that I really don't care about. Uh, let's not respond to this. We're in the middle of the thing. Then give him a tap. But why leave the car? Well, obviously, someone got a little heavy hand. It's the wrong way around. Well, how so, genius? Where is Adrian? We've gone to all the trouble to steal the car and go No crap! You leave the body behind. You were gonna be car. fine and then you walked backwards, chick! You got something there, Phelps. It doesn't add oh, up. Oh, you're fine. Okay. They get back up when you run them over viciously. Okay, uh. Can we go this way? This is the thing? Ah, oh, there's buildings here. Did you read about the guy on the crossing yesterday? No, what happened? Over on Lincoln Avenue. This guy's driving along and his oil light comes on. Stops the car and gets out. <laughs> he pops the hood and he's on a rail crossing. <laughs> oh, you got no. it. He's got his head under there checking the oil oh. on the Southern Pacific freight. Oh, that's into his terrible. Car doing 90 miles an hour. Though it's not much different than that guy right there. A mile down the track. <laughs> what a pointless waste of life. You'll get plenty of blood and guts and mindless stupidity worth of traffic folks. And who needs a second amendment when we give a goddamn fool the license to get behind the wheel of an automobile? Oh, he kind of does have a slight a point there. Why leave the victim's ID? If it's a murder, why leave the car? The evidence doesn't add up. Free lesson, folks. Evidence can only get you so far. You ask me, the whole thing feels hinky as hell. What I wouldn't give to have your powers of intuition. Don't worry, kid. Keep watching the master and you'll get there one day. I like this guy though. I thought he was gonna be a lot more annoying than he was originally. But he actually seems pretty cool now. Like he's got information and this neat synergy that goes along with Phelps. I like it. And his this guy's residence is like so far away from where we found this guy. Ooh, hold X. Uh, okay, can't hold X, okay, whatever. It's fine. I'm getting experience for doing crap. This is against the law, but well, we are the law, so we can't get in trouble for this. I assume. Yeah, there we go. Your house is like on the opposite side of town, guy. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Are you okay, guy? <laughs> Wow, we just made that dumpster flip. 
get, er, get out of the way, we gotta serve and protect. Why can't I... Crap, I think my car's dead. Hey, wait, it still goes really slowly. Hey, you're destroying the place. I'm not destroying the place. Look, I'm going. Oh, my gosh. Okay, get out of the car. Can we... Is this like GTA? Can we, like, commandeer cars? It's an emergency. Get out. I'm sorry, madam. Police officer, I need your car. I need your car, ma'am. I don't care. I need your car, ma'am. Wait, wait, can we steal these things? Hold on, hold on. I want to... <laughs> okay, this is... I know this is getting a little ridiculous, but just give me a sec. I want to see if we're allowed to use these. No, you can't. Okay. Um... I guess we'll just go with this one. Let's go. Get out of the way! Oh, we don't have a siren. We only have a horn. Get out of the way, please! Beep, 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 beep. Beep, beep, beep. Oh, 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 we've just mangled you guys. Oh, I'm sorry about that. We weren't in a police car, though, so we can't get in trouble for that one. We're not actual police at this point, we're civilians. Let's go introduce ourselves. You talk to her, Phelps. I'm no good at this shoulder to cry on stuff. Just a minute. We should go hide and then, like, surprise her. That would be a great way to start off the whole your husband's dead thing, just surprise LAPD, the crap out of her. Mrs. Black. May we come in? We have some bad news, and we'd rather discuss this in private. I'm Margaret Black. We can discuss this in the living room. Please come in. It's like she already knows what happened. Your husband drives a blue Lincoln, Mrs. Black. He used to drive a blue That's Lincoln. <laughs> The car has been found abandoned, and I'm afraid there are signs of foul play. I knew something was wrong when he didn't come home. We believe your husband may be injured. We found a pipe on the scene with blood on it. Oh, no! My poor Adrian! Does the name Instaheat mean anything to you, ma'am? Yes, it does. We've just had a new water heater installed. Whereabouts, Mrs. Black? Just outside the kitchen window. At this the side lady of the house. reeks of lying. I'd like you to try and stay calm. She just reeks and remember of it. everything that you can about last night. My partner and I are going to take a look around. When you're ready, we're going to have some more questions for you. Is that okay? Of course, officer. Anything to help secure my husband's safety. This lady reeks of lying. I think she's lying through her Let's teeth. Check the place out. Come on. Everything could be a clue. Even this plant could be a clue. He could have been murdered with that plant. Oh, we got we got picks. Oh, we got airplanes. Hope you don't mind. We're just gonna pick up your model airplane here. Doesn't tell me anything. <laughs> we're going too high. Oh, we're gonna crash. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> oh, having too much fun here. Your bowl. This bowl looks oddly suspicious. Nothing significant. It is significant. The killer was killed with this bowl. You can tell because it's red. Can we steal all your china? I'm glad she just gives us free reign of the house so Have we can convince her of being a murderer. We didn't even show her badges. Oh, we got another newspaper. I know this episode's going to go a bit over, but I want to fit this whole story in here, so... It might stretch to 40 or 50 minutes. If it does, I'm kind of sorry, but just stick with it, please. Lie down, make yourself comfortable. So, you're a friend of Courtney's? Yes, Doctor. He seems very concerned about you. I have these visions, these blinding visions. I can't get them out of my head. My skull, it, it feels like it's in a vice. I want to give you something to calm your nerves. Are you licensed to do that normally? Like just out of out of a normal workplace, just like give people drugs? I want to take you on a journey. A journey back. I want you to remember the good things about your past. Occasions that made you laugh. 
times that made you smile. It looks kind of creepy now with these lower graphics a little bit.